Virgo. What's the word, Joe? What's going on, Virgo? How is you doing? How you live? It is Scorpion Reds. I am back at you for March mid-month to let you know what energies is going on. Yes, indeed. Thank you guys so much for showing me love. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And hit that notification bell, alright? If you have not been getting my notifications, Typically, if you don't see a notification coming from me every morning, then your notifications is not working. Because I dropped the morning slide. Now, if you're not interested in the morning slide, do not click the notification bell because I do post daily. Alright? And everything is not tarot readings. Okay? Because I do do a morning show little thing or whatever. That y'all might enjoy. So, if you like the morning slide, check it out. Alright? So, uh, what was I about to say? Yeah, let's get to the house announcements. Okay? Virgo, if you um, would like to book a personal private reading with me, you can do so by clicking the About tab on my YouTube page. There's a hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot right there, all right? Go ahead and click that. Again, it says Scorpion Reds Tarot. It's a blue link at the bottom of the page on my About tab, and you can go ahead and book with me. If this video resonates and if you would like to give a love donation, you can do so. My PayPal is in the description. Let's get into the reading, you guys. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Virgo. Thank you so much for the enlightenment. Thank you so much for keeping us fulfilled. Thank you so much for all of the blessings. Thank you so much for all of the... I just feel like Virgo is just like full of just pride. I feel like Virgo is um, at, at a point where they feel very prideful and accomplished and happy. And Father God, thank you for allowing whatever mountains to be moved so that Virgo has the freedom to move about the universe and to accomplish and conquer whatever task it is that they have on their, you know, on their list right now. Thank you so much for moving those mountains, allowing that freedom. Thank you so much for allowing us patience and determination. Please give us guidance for March the 15th through the 31st. Thank you again. Please give the sign of Virgo guidance for March the 15th through the 31st. Thank you again. All right. All right, you guys. So, I don't know why I off the rip looked here. But since that's where I looked, so let me go. Spirit, please give me the overall guidance and love for Virgo. For March 15th. Why well, I wanted to keep saying December in my head? Did something happen in December? I keep hearing December. December. What happened in December? Something happened in December? Anyway, y'all let me know if something happened in December. Why am I hearing December in my head? Give me guidance for March. There was a separation. Possibly. Give me guidance for Virgo in regards to March 15th through the 31st. Oh. Balancing the scale, getting over the grief. You're purged and you're no longer surrendering to a situation. All right, so I kept saying December. I'm like, why the hell am I here in December? I feel like you went through a situation in December where... There was a brief separation. However, I don't think that you learned your lesson. There was a brief separation in December. But you did not learn your lesson. And it's been revised in 2019. And I feel like right now in mid-March, you guys are focusing on the balance. You guys are balancing the scales. And by doing that, you are releasing yourself from grief and surrendering surrendering yourself to that pain. You guys are no longer y'all excuse me. You guys are no longer surrendering yourself to this grief and pain. And y'all are balancing yourself. And you are purging possibly a water sign. You are purging any type of emotions, any type of leftover residue that has been left behind in regards to this person that I feel like you should have separated with back in December. Y'all let me know if I'm accurate at all on this, me hearing this December in my head. I kept hearing December, December, December. And then it was like lessons wasn't learned. It was a brief separation, but the lesson wasn't learned. And it was carried into 19. All right. That was interesting. So... Hmm. 
Let's go here. Guidance for Virgo for mid March 15th through the 31st. Thank you again. Just give me over overall general energy. What is the general energy for mid month? March the 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please give Virgo guidance. Might be going through a state of confusion right now. And a high priestess in reverse. And that high priestess is illuminated right there. That's 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 what you should have chose. But you chose fortune and something else ended up wrapping itself around your waist that you weren't asking for. And I feel like there are some there's something hidden, there's some secrets being hidden from you that's about to come out, Virgo. It's gonna be a conflict. Conflict where you it's a conflict coming up that, that you're going to have to defend yourself. Or someone in your energy is going to have to defend themselves. I feel like it has to do with a third party. Did this fall out? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's definitely a third party. Mm, 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 mm. I feel like you guys are learning a hard lesson, Virgo, that you should have went with your own intuition. And that when God is sending you signs, showing you to go to don't get fascinated and confused by a whole bunch of various options that look like glamour and glitz and glow to choose yourself. Listen, so Virgo, this is the seven of cups. I feel like you guys have been going through a state of confusion possibly for the past several months here. All right, you had various options in front of you. And um, you went through a state where you were a little confused and it took you a long time to decide what to choose. You made your selections and you went for the rubies, the diamonds, the jewels, and the gold. As you can see, this man went for the fortune. But looks like a serpent jumped from another cup. You see, he picked one cup, but ended up getting something else that he didn't bargain for. Reaching for the glitz and the shiny gold and the glamour instead of going within and selecting a high priestess. That is removing yourself. You see the high priestess, her face isn't shown, but that illumination, it tells me that's her energy right there. Okay? Instead of selecting yourself and being withdrawn and searching your inner wisdom to truly find out the truth as to what really lies beneath and inside of those cups, you chose what seemed to be the best decision and you ended up getting something else attached to, do, to you that you didn't uh, subscribe to. And sometimes in the tarot, that snake means wisdom. And as you can see, it's wrapped around his waist. So with that being said, I'm going to let you know that with the selection that you chose, it is literally going to take your strength and your wisdom to hold yourself up. Because your belt is used to hold your fabrics up. Okay? To hold your fabrics on you so that they don't fall to the ground. So you're gonna have to use your wisdom in this situation, and I, I and I and I feel like that's yeah. I feel like you're gonna have to use your wisdom in this situation. Who in the hell number is this talking about? Call me. Anyway, so this is the high priestess in reverse. Like I said, you didn't select the high priestess. You didn't select the high priestess by choosing yourself before making this decision so that you could have made a better, wiser decision. And now the true secret as to what you selected and what attached itself to you in that cup is about to come out. 
Oh, it's about to come out. And I feel like y'all could be dealing with, y'all Virgo men might could possibly be dealing with a sneaky woman. Y'all could be dealing with a sneaky woman here. And you might be up for an unforeseen battle that you did not know. And I think they might have been sleeping on Virgo, though, because it looked like Virgo fucking everybody up, though, on God. Like, <laughs> Virgo, you out there kicking people ass like that? God damn, Virgo, I'm going to call you next time. I'm going to fight shit. Virgo, like, man, fuck all y'all. I will whoop every last one of y'all ass out here. Nigga, I don't, nigga, I grew up watching goddamn Kung Fu Theater, okay? Channel 20. Don't fuck with me. What? I'm telling my age. If y'all older, y'all know about Kung Fu Theater, okay? Back in the day. Okay? Yeah. All the all the good Bruce Lee shit, okay? Don't even play around. <laughs> Kung Fu Theater and Creature Feature. Especially if you grew up in D.C. What? Channel 20? Get your life. Anyway, listen. Hold on. It's my song. Hold on. Y'all got to crank out with me for a second. No, I can't do that. I can't do that because I got to stay focused because if I turn on Rico Nasty, we're going to go somewhere. We're going to go somewhere else. But if y'all if y'all have not heard that Doja Cat and Rico Nasty T and Tamara Jones, please, I listen. Me and my kids crank out, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Who is this? Keep talking. Who number is this? Anyway, I'm getting distracted. See, the devil trying to distract me. Lord Jesus, the devil trying to distract me. Virgo, help me. Listen, I'm going through an unforeseen battle. Virgo! I got to go back home. Listen, okay? Because right now, my emotions is not... <laughs> it's, 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 I done heard Doja Cat. And someone keep texting me, talking about, call me. Who is you? Call you where? Who? Who are you? And I don't know. Maybe y'all are getting a text from somebody that y'all don't know who the hell it is talking about, call you. And you like... Who the fuck is this? What, 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 I don't even know you because everybody I know is locked in my phone. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, I need to talk. I'm trying to come to you as women. Bitch, don't be coming to me as no woman. It's like, nah, don't. Because I swear to God, that bad not be why nobody texting me because I do not know that number. Don't even be coming. Don't be coming to me with the whole shit. Don't, you, don't be coming to me with the no shit. No, okay? No, don't come to me with that, okay? That's why I told y'all, Virgo, y'all done selected something. You might have been picking up something else that you ain't goddamn know about. You might have selected a cup with a man thinking that he was the master plan and didn't know that that nigga eat green eggs and ham. Okay? That nigga eat spam. He eat potted meat. He eat pickled beets. You see what I'm saying, girl? That ain't what you want. That ain't what you about, girl. And then here go this whole ass bitch called you like, I got a secret. I got to tell you about something. Bitch, you ain't got nothing to tell about. <laughs> you ain't got nothing to tell me what, what, you, what I can tell you. You can get your ass whooped, though. What? Oh, but yeah, because you don't even know. No, bitch, you don't know. I will pull up and I will whoop your ass. Don't let this sweet docile shit, because people be thinking motherfucker Virgos will not crack your ass. Virgo will crack your shit. And they will skip their ass back home and act like they ain't did nothing. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Virgo, like I will come and I will I will adequately serve you what is emotionally balanced in my heart. Cause you just called me with the fuck shit. You just called me with the fuck shit. Okay? Talk about I'm trying to come to you as a woman. I got a secret to tell you about my man. Uh, you ain't got a secret to tell what? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whatever you saying, you better keep it cute. Keep it cute. Don't make me have to go back home. <laughs> Don't make me have to go back home to how I used to be. So I know. <laughs> Virgo, I'm so sorry. Because this is like... I'm sorry. I'm burning out y'all video. I'm hoping y'all getting a laugh at this shit. And maybe somebody is going through this shit. I don't know. But anywho, let me keep it going. But yes, I definitely feel like it's a battle coming up where y'all are going to have to defend yourself. And I feel like this is a situation where um, you might have to go back to where you used to be emotionally and revert to how you used to act when you was younger. Get some eye in check. I really do see that. Because someone is coming to you with some third party sh information. They're coming to you with some third party shit. And you feel attacked. And you feel. You felt you felt attacked. And you felt vulnerable. Like who the fuck is all of these people coming at me with all this shade? 
it, it can even be like one person calling you and like they might got somebody else on the line or somebody else texting you too. They got all their friends texting you. And You're like, hold on, what the fuck? See, I'm going to have to go back to the old me. To the old me. Because y'all don't want um, No, 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 no. Because I'm going to serve you exactly what you giving me. Because this is someone that is giving someone, you know, giving and receiving. This is taking care of people. So it's like, you know what? I'm going to have to go back to who I used to be. And I'm going to have to take care of these motherfuckers. Because they must don't know me. Because I done grew up to the adult Virgo. And because I try not to let shit get to me. And I don't, you know, I'm very passive. And I don't really know. Okay, yeah, they must didn't know how I grew up. Because I grew up whipping niggas' asses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't make me strap on my Reebok princesses. Who, who where my son, all my sisters that used to beat bitches asses in the motherfucking schoolyard and they fucking Reebok princesses. Can I get some thumbs up in the fucking chat? Don't act like you ain't bit a <laughs> Virgos, don't act like you ain't used to beat a bitch ass and get a bitch together in your Reeboks. Don't do me. Don't do me. Don't do me. Don't come to me with this third party shit talking about, oh, me and your man or whoever, we've been working things out together. What? What? Oh. Huh. 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 See, you know what? I should have learned my lesson with this person and I should have left you back. I should have left you back in December. Now, because I got to balance myself. I can't keep surrendering myself to this grief. I have to purge. Because this motherfucker is in and out. This person is a fucking whore. This person only really comes around me when shit is going good in my life. And I don't got time for that shit. Okay? And it's it's like a sexual addiction almost because this person is good looking. This person is very passionate and stuff like that. But this person has a commitment phobia. I don't have time for that shit. I'm resting. Okay? And not only am I resting, but look. I feel like, listen... <laughs> I'm resting. I'm mentally getting myself together. And I feel like you actually laid to rest somebody. Like, you kind of put the death of situation. You're kind of saying ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Like, uh, laying a flower there. Like, nigga, I wish you peace. Because, nigga, I will not surrender to this situation no more. You need Jesus. Yeah, that's what they say. Like, you need, you need Jesus. You need rest and you need healing, brother. I need you need to go to some my church. Like this is what Virgo is saying. Like you need rest. You need ref, refuge. You need to go to somebody's church and have somebody stand over you and pray over you and throw some holy water on you. Cause you have a little horse spirit in you. And someone need to cast that out of you. Why are you such a nasty, despicable human being? You little nasty piece of fucking shit. Let another bitch call me. This person thinks that they are always going to be able to sneak around and mentally manipulate you and they'll never get caught. But as you can see, this person is getting caught, honey. Getting caught. And not only are they getting caught, Virgo, you are getting them in check, whipping asses and taking names later, and you're getting in your chariot and you're traveling the fuck on off. I'm purging. I don't have this to do. I don't have this to do. Don't be having no bitches texting me, talk about calling me. Call for what? Who? Bitch, what? Bitch, who? No. Mm -mm. I don't have you. I never had you to do. Give me the energy. Give me some additional energy in this situation because Virgo said it's <laughs> They want me to go back to 98. They just want me. Some of y'all was probably born in 98. But I feel like for my old school people that was like in high school back in 98 and shit like that. Oh, what? And like, hold on. My to had to slide up and just like. <sighs> they must they must have forgot. How, um, storm warning. Whoever is watching and whoever this is with this bullshit with, with Virgo, they letting you know. They letting you know. You don't need, uh, uh, give me information. Okay, you want to fly on that, bitch? There's a storm coming, but there's going to be victory for Virgo, honey. There's going to be victory for Virgo. There's going to be victory for Virgo, okay? So there's a storm coming where some shit is about to be shut down. Some shit is about to be shut down. Because like I said, Virgo was not surrendered to that situation no more. Because they should have learned their lesson last year. And they didn't listen. 
and they didn't listen but you know what at the end of the day Virgo's gonna have to relearn how to balance their heart chakra I feel like Virgo might have to learn how to rebalance their sh their heart chakra. But there will be victory. You will walk away from this situation victorious. And you will successfully purge this energy out of your life. Is there any additional guidance that you have in regards to this energy mid-month for Virgo? Okay, you'll find it. Okay. So there's going to be... Okay, so the warning is, Virgo, that you're going to... That there's a storm brewing and it's a storm coming. You are going to be victorious, but you're going to have to rebalance your heart chakra. And you might end up walking away from this situation financially, like bankrupt. Like you might walk away from the situation with nothing. But you'll be better for it. Because at the end of the day, you knew, you already knew what you were getting yourself into. I, I feel like. Or you should have just, you should have trusted yourself. You should have did that, that self. You should have chose this one. That's the high priestess. That's someone being on their own, like really searching and finding out all of the secrets and the mastery of the world before making a decision. Understanding the world before and how the world works before you make a decision. If you would have figured out how the world worked, you would have understand. You would have understood that picking those Jews wouldn't have came without consequences. You know what I'm saying? Because everything that glitters is not gold. That was that was like that was like fake jewelry or something like almost. It wasn't. And this person got you in a situation where they were whoring around. Not being committed, not being faithful. You kept being in these battles, having to defend yourself to this person. I don't know why you're having to defend yourself to this person when they're the one out here going around trying to get away with shit. But you're going to end up walking away by yourself, Virgo. You're going to end up walking away by yourself, Virgo. Give me information in regards to the storm warning. And like I said, you're going to be victorious because this spirit is ending off with the chariots moving away victoriously. You're going to be victorious. You're not going to be without absolutely nothing. But I feel like this person might try to sabotage you and like steal your money. I feel like because you close your, your... You came through and you tore everything down with that storm. Like you came through like a tornado. And you were victorious. And tearing this person in this situation down, letting them know how you feel and putting them in their place. And you took your heart back from this person. And they get back at you, they stole your money. Hmm. This person wants to stagnate your life. This person wants you to go through this continuous cycle with them. Okay? They don't really want you to move on. and Because your world is... This chapter of your life, this world, this part of your world is, is is sailing away. You're moving on. But this person wants you to continuously devour yourself over and over and over and over again. It's like a continuous cycle. And they don't want you to leave. They see that you are mentally preparing yourself to evade. You know what I'm saying? To evacuate the, prem the premises. Mentals is swords. Okay? And not only that, I feel that they feel that you have someone that's helping you. They want to keep you trapped in Tidedale in this toxic situation. They want to create a barrier that you cannot crawl over. Almost want to put a hex on your life, making it damn near impossible for you to release yourself from this low vibrational energy. However, Virgo said, I be damned. I throw some holy water. I throw some holy water on you, and I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You better get the fuck on away from me, cause I'm successful and I'm fruitful without you, baby. The sun has shined. I don't need you. You can take that shit. You think I won't get it back? The fuck wrong with you? Okay. <laughs> and Virgo is coming through, kicking the door, waving in the fo fo. All you heard was Papa don't hit me no more. Virgo is hitting this motherfucker upside the head with this truth. Like, look. <laughs> Hashtag facts. Virgo is giving the facts. <laughs> you was weak and pussy. Oh, try to keep a nigga, baby. You thought that you was going to come around and you was going to stagnate my world from moving forward. But I came through like a goddamn tornado and I shake right on the road, you bitch. I don't give a fuck. 
I don't care. You can have that. You think it's going to make me or break me? You took some money? You a fuck? That just show how stupid you are and how low you are to have to take my fucking money. You have, you think that you taking my money or you threatening me, time? oh, you need me financially. You can't move on. How you going to take care of yourself, bitch? I'm a hustler. I'll figure it out. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> Get out of my face. God allowed me to escape this. That mask has been broken and removed. And that solid foundation that you thought was solid, it ain't had shit in it. It was empty. It was a solid shell that ain't have shit inside of it. Okay? And <laughs> Virgo realized, if I ain't get myself together, God was seeing everything that was going on. He was going to tear me down right with this dumb motherfucker if I ain't get myself out of this situation. And you seen you foreseen this about to happen. And Virgo said, uh-uh. And that chariot came and helped you. Didn't I tell you the chariot? Y'all are moving away to victory. That mask was broken. You was able to see all of the secrets, everything that was being hidden behind that mask. There was a false inside. There was nothing in there. Those sphinx came and allowed you to swim away. And you got the fuck out of that water, hopped in your goddamn chariot, and you moved off victoriously. Because you said, this motherfucker ain't getting away with shit. Huh. 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 Ain't getting away with shit. Thank you for allowing this sudden change to come into my life. This is someone that appreciates a tower moment. People be scared of the tower. No, bring the tower. If I'm not strong enough to tear this shit down, please remove this shit from my life, God. Thank you. And thank you for not tearing me down with it. Thank you for allowing me to get away. Virgo, can we say thank you? Can I see some thank yous in the chats? For let, for Say thank you, God, for allowing me to get away and be victorious. Victory. Victory. There was a storm coming that led you to victory. Well, you had to learn to reshape your heart and you might have to rebuild yourself financially, but that shit worked out for the better. You were confused by options. You let these options confuse you. You let something that looked better than what it seemed get you tied up in a situation that you really did not ask for. You should have did your research. You should have got your emotions together. You can't go into situations feeling emotionally vulnerable, okay? It took a lot of strength because you had to control a toxic addiction. It go that devil again, okay? You have to control yourself. And this is going to be a battle that you are going to it's a constant battle because don't think whenever you're trying to control this beast and you're taming this beast. Do you understand? Do you see how comfortable Virgo is sitting right here next to the lion? And here go the devil coming like, oh, you think you're getting yourself together? You think that you're getting your life in control? You're learning how to tame the beast? And this motherfucker, what the fuck? Sorry, y'all. You learn how to, you're learning right now how to control and tame the beast because you want peace and true love and emotional security and true love and, and not only peace and harmony and true love is coming to you because this situation that you was dealing with was not true love. And this is the magician, all right? This is the magician, as above, so below. You are learning your, listen, do you see the affinity sign over both of their heads? So the thing that you got to understand is these are things that you are going to have to learn how to control forever. As above, so below. What you put out in the universe, you get back. So if you're going into a situation feeling weak, feeling emotionally insecure instead of allowing yourself to heal before you make decisions you're going to reap what you sow 
negative people are going to attach their self to you hurt people hurt people allow yourself to regain your strength allow yourself to grow this is the magician the magician in the reverse he is looking off into the sunset and he is realizing i need to regain my energy i need to regain my strength because i got a lot of work to do and everything that i do it doesn't just impact me it impacts a lot of other people and i have a responsibility because i can't use my gifts for the wrong things Okay, I can't be influenced. I can't be enticed. Okay? And this is what the magician is doing. The magician is recognizing that temptation and recognize that they have to regain their power and their strength because this beast will always be lurking around trying to control them. And it's time for listen, Virgo Virgo ain't dealing. Virgo ain't dealing. They're like, I'm not making I'm not making wrong selections no more. I want true love. I want someone that really, 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 really fucking cares about me. Really cares about me. And I was just being hard-headed. I was being hard-headed. God was trying to. God was trying to show me. Let's give Virgo some last guidance and love. And we about to get up out of here, you guys. Give Virgo. Stay optimistic about your love life. Stay optimistic, okay? Stay optimistic. It's just this person that you were not dealing with. This person you were dealing with this just wasn't your soulmate. It wasn't your soulmate. And the quicker that you recognize it, the quicker things will progress in your life. Stop delaying getting away from the situation. I feel like a lot of y'all are still currently in this situation with this person that you know is toxic. Because I've seen the devil a couple of times up in here, at least twice. You need, to, you need to remove yourself from this person. This secretive person, this manipulating person. Like, why, why, why are they putting you in a situation where you're having to constantly defend yourself for what? And if they're accusing you of doing something, they're the sneaky one. They're just projecting. It's toxic, low vibrational energy, and they see you trying to get away, and they trying to keep you trapped, trapped and bounded to it. Virgo, you gotta love yourself first. Love yourself out of this situation. You hear me? Love yourself out of this situation. One more. Mm. The three fates and the men of broken heart. Listen, okay. So the three fates is. Oh, I believe it's future. Let me see. Because I don't want to say the wrong thing. 26. Mm, it's happening again. Like I'm telling y'all. Y'all going through this again. It's happening again. Many of his faith difficulty. In troubled times in our life, sometimes the impact of a negative experience is so profound that it leaves us with physical, mental, and yes, spiritual residue for months and even years after the actual event. While you're still vibrating, the three fates put it, the energy of a negative experience tends to repeat, repeatedly attract echoes of the same exact experience. Y'all keep repeating the same shit different toilet. Okay? And this is something that you already experienced last year and that y'all should have separated from last year. And y'all let this same situation repeat itself again in 2019. And you might have gone through this situation three times already, okay? It says, so when you need to be alerted to this fact, the three fates will enter showing you that this is a karmic pattern that may need to be worked on and understood and recreated in order to free itself of its influence. You may feel there are others in charge of your fate and that they are threatening the needle and waving the patterns of the tapestry in your life, even choosing what ends and what begins. When you feel that fate has interceded and that you're not so much in control of your life, but in control of your reaction to what happens to your life, then you are beginning to work with intelligence and maturity and understanding. With the energies of destiny, fate, and fortune, the three fates, again, destiny, fate, and fortune, okay? Destiny, fate, and fortune. These three fates depict depicted so beautifully here with their ever-turning wheel of karma. Understand that in turn, it turns and it turns. And your life 
will do many themes turn and turn and turn again when you receive this card in a reading it is most especially important if she leaves out to greet you you will know that an old pattern has circled around again and that old pattern clearly is you going through this phase in a cycle of like constant heartbreak i feel like you have gone through this you gone through this last year and you gone through it again. And now you are at a stage where you're having to mend your heart again and learning to love yourself first. And stop delaying trying to retreat from the situation. Do you see what I'm saying? You know the situation is no good for you. Stop holding on to something. Stop holding on to something that you need to let go. Alright? I love you guys. I truly love you guys. I'm sorry. I'm nosy. One more message. <laughs> I'm sorry, Virgo. One more message. Please give me guidance in regards to the three fate and the hope, the broken heart fairy. Because I feel like if they just walk away, I feel like they know that this person that they're dealing with is a manipulative, evil, vindictive motherfucker. And if Virgo tries to leave them, that they might take their money from them. The hermit. That leaked out like shit. And the five of swords. I just told you. This person that they're dealing with is an evil motherfucker. This person is, is mentally manipulative. They are willing to. They, they don't. They don't want Virgo to be victorious. They are willing to do anything. So that Virgo cannot just easily just walk away and win this battle. They are willing to use sex. They are they are willing to use mental manipulation. They are a fucking cons man. They are a cons woman. They are willing to do anything to win and to defeat you. So that you do not have a mind of your own. You cannot raise your vibration. And that you cannot touch your destiny, your fate, and your future. They don't want you to even understand what those words are, okay? They want you to stay, because as long as they can control your heart and keep you right here, they always got you. They don't want you to wake up. They know. They think with sex and their, and their, their verbal abuse. It's just someone is verbally abusive that they can control you. This is the hermit. You need to, and as you can see, this person is doing something behind the scenes. Damn near right in front of your fucking face. Do you see me? And they think that you're just this weak, mild, meek motherfucker that's just going to sit there and not do something while they sit up there fucking someone right in front of your face. Virgo, if you don't get the fuck up and get these people about your goddamn energy, young, I'm about to come and help you. I'm going to come and help you because I don't like that shit. This person don't want you to get strong. This person don't. This person don't want you to get strong and really love yourself and find love and peace. This person is a piece of shit, Virgo. Get this person the fuck on out of here. And just know, like I told you, after the storm coming, anticipate and welcome the storm. Say, God, thank you. Thank you. Because I told you, you're going to be victorious. You're going to be successful. And they can eat it and weep. Fuck them. I love y'all. If this video resonated, hit that like button. If you want to book a personal reading, go to the about tab. Hit the hyperlink to says Scorpion Reds Tarot and simply book me. If this video gave you any type of insight and if it resonated. And if you about to come through and they must not know who they fucking with. Virgo, tired of this shit. This has been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fucking times. I feel like Virgo has been gone. Virgo's had enough. And if you want an ass with me, you can get it today. I will balance the skills. I will get your ass the fuck together and I will move right the fuck on. Because, um, like I told you, I whip ass and I take names later and I ride out. And I ride out. Bitch, you guessed it. So if this goddamn resonated and you want to drop a dollar or two, you can go ahead. PayPal's in description. Virgo, I love you. Peace.